The discipline of Welcome to the G. Yo, I feel like vlogs aren't a thing anymore. Is vlogs still a thing? Where's the battery? Uh, five and below. Do y'all have a hair in Alabama? Uh, Yeah, 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 I love it. Um, they had a whole section when I first got ready to do this stuff. I like a year. I had most of this stuff for a year. I literally went and spent like $35. Oh, yeah. I bought a bunch of little stuff. I bought me a little microphone. I bought three of these. I bought one of those little, um, I think I lost it. I bought a, uh, one of them lights. Um, you know how uh, girls be up on that shit way before us because they be getting selfie game right. So they be getting all the little trinkets and stuff. So they got the little, now they got the phone cases. They got the selfie light on it. That's bright as hell, bro. You can take a selfie anywhere. Yeah. So they had all that little stuff in five and below. So you can just get your, get your, get your gear on, get your stuff right. Oh, this man, wow. But, um. Oh, I'm excited. I just got, I dropped my first two trees from my log cabin today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we dropped two trees today. Appreciate it. So. Oh, I just got to learn how to get with that chainsaw. My uncle cut them down for me today. So. Yeah, I can do it. It's a few of them left. It's a few of them left. I need. This is what I'm, I'm thinking long term. I'm gonna just have to get me a truck and a bed to hold on for a storm season so I can just go around and collect. Cause what I wanna do is, once I master this log cabin thing, I wanna start making kits. Like I wanna just turn that into a production and literally just keep, uh, you know, produce log cabin kits. If I could produce two or three log cabin kits a year, them things sell for like, I mean, I could, I could have somebody buy that for like 15K. Whole kit in there, which is all the kit is, is the log cabin. The logs already cut and notched out. So when you ship them to somebody else's property, they can just put it together. I like that uh, log thing idea. Mm -hmm. I actually, so in, in the father was actually two mill lumber yards. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to be an entrepreneur for a long time, so at one point I wanted to just sell pallets for seven dollars a pallet, mm -hmm. and the business model was with you because you make like you can sell them for seven. Don't even know the brand. I forgot, I forgot the exact discipline. I'm sure I got a bit of money, but uh, I ended up getting out of that because I realized all the pallets were coming in through. They want that to be a company. You know what I'm saying? Because they come in for time for free. Yeah. <laughs> but see, what I like about pallets, I want to source pallets for my projects. I'm, I'm obsessed with any material that can be easily repurposed. And this is, oh, you know, and just to make sure I uh, hit the picture off, but this is what I was getting at. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make a log cabin kits, what we could do is we could go ahead and get all the numbers and the metrics. Not only that, but I got someone that I, I got can help you with the, the hard numbers. Like my boy Adrian back in the father. He go hard with that uh, building and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? He, okay. He work on his own house. Okay. And his cars. So, uh, and like any, I mean, just real estate. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the log cabin kit. That was that was very interesting. Uh, That's what I wanted. As a matter of fact, now that you mention it, bro, I really think that might be an easy product to develop because I've been looking for. With, with my freedom, with this Freedom Nation campaign, I've been looking for a 15 to 25K product that we could produce with pure labor. And that might be it. Because what, what it is, is that I was looking at tiny homes at one point, but I'm not good enough yet to understand the overall construction to make a tiny home. And I love it because it's about, the, uh, we're getting to the point where everything is going to mass produce. If you can hand create something mm -hmm. in the day, it, 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 it gets back to that, that craft and, and that skill 
having to have a skill set to be able to do something like mm. that, especially the entire thing. Mm. So I want and really, really uh we had a girl, she was a she she pulled out this lighter thing where you can put the weed in it, it was crazy. But she was like, you get these, you can put your lighter in they can you have money out of and Wes was like, We could uh we could get some random designs and put on and then the girl was like, you can even have them order design and have student artists paint on it. It was like, we could, bro. And it's just, everything's lucrative. You just got to free your mind from the matrix. Well, my you thing is, well, man, I'm looking for, I like that idea. Um, I want to see my overall thing. I had this organization that I'm committed, I'm building called YBYX. It's the OA's Airbnb Youth Talk Exchange. And what it is, is I'm obsessed with codifying and making simple all of the systems and processes, the stuff I be teaching you. I want more case studies so that I can process somebody through a machine quickly. Because what happens is we're levels behind. Like the startup level you're on, it's still going to take you 10 years to get to um, 600 plus employees producing a certain amount of millions of dollars consistently. You know what I'm saying? I want to get so many case studies by then that the next, what my organization is going to do is the next time I snap up a Campus Connect, instead of 10 years, their process is two years. We fast track them because we got so much data. And see, as soon as you start building, like leapfrogging off of each other like that, as soon as you start leapfrogging, you get the capacity that in 25 years, cuts to, to to be on a really serious global scale. I literally am like, I'm obsessed with scaling at that level. Like, And, and I love what you're saying because not only that, but leverage is a is, is basically consulting. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. That's, Which that's is, exactly. that's that's literally what the firm does. It's, it's let's get in, I'm do real work. Food. Okay, cool. and using our technologies and our skills and the, like you said the data because we're partnering with American Muscle they're actually going to come in okay. me, and what we're going to do with them is help them build and scale their company and what they're going to do is they're going to use Connect to promote Okay, you see what I'm saying Okay, and so not only that but things like oh that's my man that was in um, yeah, what I what I want to see, bro, because because what's happening, what's what's about to happen is very very simple. I've been taught about the African environment my entire life since I was three. Since I was whew, since I was three, my father has been planning to repatriate our whole family, to expatriate our whole family, right? Labor of every kind for African Americans is virtually free all over Africa. What it is is that African Americans are the lost children of the continent and they're looking for us to come back with solutions. So literally, as soon as you hit the ground, there's people willing to offer their services for less than nothing. Now the problem is a lot of people think free labor is a good thing. Free labor is only a good thing if you have a program for free labor, if you know what to do with it, which is what I intend to be learning to do over the next 10 years. Because the free labor, and what I mean by free labor is you pay people, but the labor's super cheap. It's damn near free. It's, you know what I'm saying, paying somebody $2 an hour and they feel like you're doing them a favor. It's free labor. So, what's about to happen super rapidly, I can imagine for, for my for my family repatriation, because I have an a expatriation plan for, I'm in year two of a 10-year plan right now. Mark me because we already bought two acres of land in Tanzania. We're going. We'll be going within that time. Ten years after that, I'll be duplicating exactly everything I'm doing here, there, and then during that time, I'll be incubating and helping to promote entrepreneurs and businesses there. Ten years after that is when I'll be able to scale businesses quickly like I want to. I'll be able to grab up, you know, because I mean, you hear these stories all the time, bro. Really. My whole platform is called Free Black Genius. Free Black Genius is, I really believe that black people will save the world if you just free us. A 
free black person is a genius. Automatically, the only time black people are not being benefit to themselves is they're stuck under oppression. As soon as you remove oppression, black people, they solving problems, they helping everybody, they creating community. That's what we love to do. But under oppression, it's hard to create. So my whole system is the reason I live in the woods is because if you get people out there living for living and they mentally free, their creative genius take off a whole nother level. And that's what we're going to find when we get to the continent. As soon as you get somebody an opportunity, they got engineers that's like 13 years old solving problems that European engineers have never solved out of necessity because they have to. So that's where we're going. Literally in 30 years, this giant bake of resources that is the continent of Africa will be available to us at a giant scale, a crazy scale. So like you talking about world change it's there immediately. That's where I'm headed, so. <laughs> I'm fucking with it. Hey. <laughs> so. No, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I'm just really gonna work it on. Not only that, but like I said, I always ask you when they're passionate about so that way when I do find Opportunities that I can yeah. pass the rock off, pass the playoff, I can go ahead and do that. Exactly. I mean, as long as if you got you a 12 month strategy to make money and you hit all your numbers and keep the growth slow, because like I said, for. Alright, only got a few minutes. But I had to document how easy this is. Man, we finna be in the log cabin business. It just peels right off. <laughs>